going to be the same thing now. Hey guys, it's Tickle, and in this video, we're going over the Necrolord abilities for Hunter. I'll be playing Marksman. Now, the abilities will be exactly the same for the different specs of Hunter, all DPS ones. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so we're just going to get into it. Uh, in the description, make sure to check out any other class videos for any other covenants you may be interested in. I've done reviews of the different classes and all that jazz. We'll also be doing this stuff on the stream coming up more often at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, twitch.tv slash tickle this. But... With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. The Necrolord and Night Fae abilities are not available because they're in the different zones that aren't able to be leveled through right now, but they are some of the most beautiful abilities in the entire game. Now, Necrolord, as any Covenant ability, has a just Covenant ability itself, class agnostic. Fleshcraft forms a shield of bones after four, uh, over four seconds that absorbs damage up to 20% of your maximum health, channeling near a corpse, claim it to be uh, up to 50% of your max health. This is what it looks like. Now, it's a channel. I don't know how effective that will be. I am kind of guessing that it'll be good for the off tanks, potentially, or in raids, potentially, for certain classes. But with that being said, let's go ahead and go to the next one. Death Chakram. This is the hunter-specific one. Throw a deadly chakram at your current target that will rapidly deal... Uh, 850 shadow damage seven times bouncing to other targets if they are nearby each time the chakram deals damage its damage is increased by 50 percent Ooh, and you generate three focus Ooh, that's pretty cool now there is kind of a review uh, kind of a rework of a few things about hunter that make them seem like they're going to be more viable in mythic plus because they're going to be able to hit a lot of different targets this applies to multiple specs even bm and uh but specifically marksman getting volley back in the game now that is pretty cool and we did see with the night fey covenant ability that there's also a lot of uh, aoe potential there because that's a huge aoe circle that's up for a pretty long time so let's go ahead and get in here. We need to aggro a few mobs, and those mobs we're going to use this ricochet ability um, to go ahead and make it work. So let's go ahead and use this. We're going to go ahead and get this because I have trick shot. It's going to bounce off or not. It's just going to pop. Okay. All right, so we're going to get up here. We're going to go ahead and use this ability into a few mobs. There we go. There we go. Now, yeah, okay, it's going to hurt. This is going to hurt, but here we go. Ready? Oh, wow. Wait, that was it? Wait. Wait a minute. That was it? Wait. That was... Come on. That was not that... That was not that cool. This is a little bit of a letdown, seeing as a lot of the other classes have had pretty cool abilities. Uh, they've had some pretty cool-looking um, Covenant abilities. If this is what the Hunter one looks like, it's going to be a little sad for the boys. So let's go ahead and see. It's on a 45-second cooldown, which is relatively short as it goes for covenant abilities i'm just gonna pop these guys that's 45 seconds is really short it goes up there's two minuters there's three minuters so you know that's not bad but what does not seem good is the fact that it's uh it, uh, it i don't know i didn't even notice it happened which is not usually a good idea uh, or a good thing mainly because these covenant abilities are some of the most beautiful abilities i've seen in the game let's go ahead and use it here at a distance let's do this first actually Let's, let's, let's be reasonable. My health's low. Let's go ahead and uh, flesh craft, suck all those essences up. It's going to give us a pretty big shield, especially because they're all dead. Let's go ahead and run back in here. All right, let's go ahead and use this. Here we go. Wow. That was very fast. Um, listen, it seemed to do a lot of damage. They're all pretty low. But, jeez, that was fast. It looked like a, you know, I guess it looked like a chakram. But, yeah, you know, listen. That if we just kind of look at the numbers here, it's doing 850 uh, damage seven times. It's going to go up each time it hits a target by 15%. That means 50, seven times 15 is going to be the percentage increase. So that is a, up to 105% damage, which means it's going to the last tick of it is going to do about um, 17,000. Wait, no, not 17, 1700 damage, which is pretty good in Shadowlands. But truthfully. That, I don't know, just is a little underpower. It just doesn't look that good. It doesn't look that impressive. Let's do it again. Okay, so we look at the damage that it did. It did 1,300. Well, okay, 1,300, 1,200, 900. So it didn't, didn't necessarily feel like the numbers went up. Did not necessarily feel that way. It's kind of odd. Huh. That's kind of a weird, uh, weird test example there, then. But with that being said, guys, I mean, that's, that's it. If, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and switch over to BM. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Because it's going to be pretty much exactly the same. Usually it is, anyway. Let's go ahead and test it out, though. 
This is the first time I've been able to really test this ability out because, like I said, Covenant abilities are being rotated to tor through Torghast a lot. So if we now look... I'll heal myself. Yep, Death Chakram. Same exact thing. The damage is a little bit lower, oddly. But again, pull out my Fox Boy. Fleshcraft is coming up. The cooldown is low. The cleave's there. Let's see if there's two targets. Let's try to get... Mm, okay, this isn't two targets. This is a little bit more. Ready? Oh, wrong button. Okay, listen. It did It did do some damage. It did do some pretty good damage, and it happens very fast. Fast damage can't be said. You know, that's a terrible thing. But... <laughs> I don't know, man. This doesn't seem that exciting. What we're going to do next is we'll try between two targets. And as you guys are watching, you know, nothing's different between BM and Marksman. You know, nothing. You're not seeing any difference here. So same thing with Survival. Now, the question will be, will it ping pong between two targets, increasing the damage that it's hitting back and forth, back and forth, back and forth? Kind of like uh, Chill Streak from a uh, Frost Death Knight. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like now that the ability is going to be back here in about 10 seconds. We'll test that out. Survival is going to be exactly the same. Survival actually has Chakrams as well that apparently they're never selected, though. We're going to go ahead and pull these two targets next to each other. Let's see what it looks like. I don't want to do too much damage. It's probably going to end up killing them, but uh, let's go. Ready? Okay, so it does just ping pong. Again, it didn't... I don't know. It didn't feel like it did that much damage. Now, I know people are probably going to say, Tickle, come on. You know this. Don't look at the damage numbers. But hey, you know what? I, I got it. I got it. The way that it feels is okay. It happens really fast. It's not quite as flashy as I was expecting, but, uh, but dang. We'll go ahead and switch to survival here in a sec. Because I know people are going to say you didn't try survival. All right, we'll, we'll give it a go. Survival is definitely a different beast, uh, though the changes aren't really too much in Shadowlands based on what they have right now. But it could be like Shadow Priest, where people are going to uproar. Uh, oh, there's my normal chakras as well. All right, let's go ahead and get this ability out there. So this one is this the normal one. I'll show you what that looks like. Bo kind of like a boomerang, right? All right, let's go ahead and blow that boy up. Get on my 200 pounds. All right, so here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and use this up. It's going to be the same thing, though. I mean, it's kind of cool. I'm, it's kind of growing on me, but it's a little weird. I'm, if you've seen some of the other abilities from some of the other classes, you will also, I mean, there's no way you don't agree that that's a little underwhelming and a little fast. A lot of things are channels for like five seconds. This one thing happens very, very, very quickly. Now, maybe that's good for Mythic Pluses. Maybe this is going to further help Hunters in Mythic Pluses, but it's tough to say. Tough to say right now, especially as everyone knows, the damage numbers are not tuned quite yet. But with that being said, guys, that's going to be it for the Hunter. I just wanted to show you a quick walkthrough of the Necrolord abilities. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what else you'd like to see. And with that being said, guys, just a quick reminder that we do have a PvP uh, competition coming up on June 13th, where we will be doing an in-house war game, 10v10 or 15 versus 15. Uh, team Snipe Tickle versus Team Defend Tickle. Uh, I'll be also doing a giveaway of a, shat a copy of Shadowlands. And then next weekend, June 20th, we're doing a transmog competition. So we will be sure to see you there on stream every day, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Events happen at 10 p.m. Uh, and that's it. So we'll see you then. Take care, everybody.